What's up guys and welcome to the third episode of the FIFA 15 Potential Cards. Now, uh, in this series, we're gonna just discuss about some uh, FIFA 15 Potential Cards, of course. Um, this time around, it's all around the Bundesliga. Uh, last episode was the League 1, didn't got the most of views, um, as I expected. But the one there for was the uh, Barclays Premier League, and that got a ton of views. Uh, currently on like a thousand and uh, as well um, a couple of um, guys discussed about some players there and uh, yeah that's exactly what I want so today's the Bundesliga hopefully we can um, get uh, some more views with that as well and uh, yeah if you like this episode please leave a like as well uh, comment on what other players you wanted to see or uh, which players you want to see for the next episode um, and if you enjoyed this video, then please subscribe to my channel because, um, yeah, I will keep doing um, these FIFA 15 potential card next time around. I think we're gonna go for the uh, Serie A. So if you got some players for that, um, please leave it in the comment section below. So uh, we're just gonna get on to the first player, which is the highest rated, and that is Robert Lewandowski. Now. Uh, of course, currently at Borussia Dortmund, but he's going to um, Bayern Munich, of course. He's from Poland. Uh, of course, he's an amazing player, like Guts. He signed uh, from BVB to Bayern, and um, yeah, Lewandowski did that on the 3rd of January in 2014. Sorry, I do believe as well he was a free agent, so that's a, a class buy, of course, from uh, Bayern Munich. Um, and before Borussia Dortmund, he was at uh, Lech Poznan in 2010. Um, and for Borussia Dortmund, he played uh, 124 games already, and he scored 17, uh, 70 sorry, goals. Uh, probably the one, um, the the match against Real Madrid was probably like his best. Um, match ever so Lewandowski off to Bayern of course um, I gave him an 87 rating um, and I up some stats and uh, yeah I think this card will look something what he will do uh, next year so on to the next player who is gonna be Milas Djordjic 22 year old midfielder from uh, Borussia Dortmund signed this year uh, for around 2 million uh, pounds uh, from Partizan in the uh, Serbian league I do believe it is um, he prefers to play attacking midfielder, but for Borussia Dortmund he plays actually a bit more of a centre midfielder. Um, and yeah, for Partizan, um, he scored uh, 10 goals in 35 games. And for uh, Dortmund, he already scored 2 goals in 4 games, which is very good. And uh, I thought he had like the quickest goal of a debut player as well. Uh, so he's a very promising uh, player indeed, one to watch for the future. I, I reckon this will look something like his card, good overall stats. Uh, maybe he will be like a non-rare 77 rated card, or uh, maybe EA will keep him silver or something, which I do believe he's actually at the moment on uh, so FIFA and on the latest updates. So maybe he's like a 74 rated card. Um, but yeah, he will be a very good card indeed. So, on to the next player who is Andre Hahn. Uh, he played for Augsburg and I do believe he signed like uh, a couple of days ago for um, Borussia Mönchengladbach. So maybe that means like uh, Patrick Herman is off to like a better club. He had a great season as well. Um, and yeah, Andre Hahn had a solid season too from uh, Augsburg, of course. He had 10 goals in 14 games. And uh, yeah, he's just a very pacey player. He's got like 73 um, pace on uh, FUT head. And when I saw some clips on YouTube, uh, I immediately thought he, was, he had like 90 pace or something. So um, I do as well believe he's like the fastest Bundesliga player. Um, so that means he will be faster than like Blasikowski, like um, Aubameyang, of course. But... Yeah, I don't think EA is going to upgrade his base from 73 till uh, 96 or something. He's 23 years old. Um, he's very tall as well. He's uh, 6 feet 1, which means he is 1 meter and uh, 85 centimeter. So, um, yeah, he's a great card as well. 23, 23 years old, sorry. So, um, yeah, that's a, a good card to watch in the future. So, the next card is uh, Jose Campagna. 
he plays for Nuremberg, but he's on loan from Crystal Palace. Um, maybe he plays for um, Nuremberg next year as well. He will be probably be back to the Barclays Premier League. Um, but yeah, as he stayed, I made hit this card, uh, and that will be something what um, yeah, well he deserves as well. Um, he played five games for Nuremberg this season, one goal in it. He also plays for the Spain under 21. He's uh, just 20 years old, and uh, he's he's just pretty solid player if you ask me. Um, next player then is gonna be Carlos Cruzo. Um, from uh, Stuttgart and from Ecuador. He came from Barcelona, not the Barcelona, uh, but Barcelona Sporting Club from the uh, Ecuadorian League. Good couple of years there, and uh, hopefully he will do that as well from uh, Stuttgart. So, on January the 13th, he signed a four-year contract at uh, Stuttgart, of course. He also plays for the uh, Ecuador team under 20, and uh, yeah, he looks like a pretty promising talent if you ask me and uh, this card doesn't look that bad either so 71 defending um, 68 pace 68 passing does look like a pretty solid player so on to the next one which is actually very excited Julian Green um, he plays for uh, Bayern Munich of course and uh, he could choose against Germany or between Germany and uh, the United States and a couple of days ago he decided to play for the uh, United States. He also made his uh, debut for the USA in March 2014 versus Mexico. Uh, he also played for Germany on the 90 and for the USA team on the 21. Um, actually he's currently playing at the second team of Bayern. Uh, he played there 22 times, scoring 15 goals, and he's mainly like a right winger or something. Um, and yeah, he's just a very promising talent, 80 years old already. Uh, played one game for the first team of uh, Bayern Munich, and uh, he came in for Götze versus CSKA Moscow in, uh, I do believe it's a Champions League then. So, very promising talent. Uh, he will be playing for America or for uh, the, the United States, if you want to call it uh, that way and yeah this looks like a very good card for FIFA 14 uh, sorry FIFA 15 and uh, yeah hopefully he will be something like that so on to the next player which is gonna be Alessandro Schlopf uh, center attacking midfielder of the second team of Bayern um, he is currently at the um, at the FIFA team or well on FIFA on Bayern Munich of course uh, but he's actually mainly playing for the second team of Bayern now he scored um, what was it? 11 goals in 26 games and also 3 assists uh, for the second team of Bayern, of course. Uh, he also plays for the under-21s uh, for Austria. And uh, yeah, he is a pretty promising player. So, uh, on to the uh, last card, which is um, Gili Salahi. He is a left-back also from Bayern Munich, also from Austria. He's not the best left-back in the world. Uh, he does play for the... Um, Second team of Bayern as well. 20 matches, 2 goals, 3 assists, which isn't uh, very bad, of course. Um, and yeah, he won't probably be on FIFA 15, uh, but it's like good to discuss about him. If you if you agree with his um, with this card, if you know him or if you know a bit about Bayern, then um, it's pretty good to discuss about him. He is actually on FIFA 14 uh, on Bayern Munich on the team and um, yeah. Well, if he is there next year, um, this will be something what his card will look like. So, guys, um, that was it. Pretty short video, uh, to be honest. Like, the League 1 and the BPL were um, a bit longer, but we've got some great um, players in this team. Like, Andre Hahn is a good thing to discuss. Uh, Jodzic, of course. Lewandowski to Bayern Munich. How will he do there? Uh, and what is going to happen with, like, Pizarro, with, like, Mandzukic? And, um, of course, Julian Green, what do you think will uh, happen with him in the future as well? Jose Campagna will probably um, turn back to Crystal Palace. So, if you want to watch him in the BPL, then um, say that in the comments as well. If you, if you have something to comment about the players, then uh, leave that as well in the description. So, guys, that was it. Uh, the next time is the Serie A. So, if you got some suggestions, I already got some players. Um... 
but if you got some suggestions leave it in the comments below if you like this episode um, then leave a like as well subscribe to my channel if you want to see more of these content uh, videos about some FIFA 15 potential cards. Uh, if you haven't watched the last two episodes about the League One and the uh, Barclays Premier League, the links are in the description and uh, on my channel as well. So guys, if you enjoyed, please leave a like and I will catch you up next time. Cheers.